Hello friends! Today we will have a video for the girls mainly <laughs> because today we will be talking about pregnancy. So guys, if you're watching, you can go to another video. <laughs> so today I had a virtual tour in the hospital where most probably I will be delivering a baby and I had lots of questions so I just wrote down them in my phone and uh, I just wanted to share with you if you are a foreigner and you are coming to the USA and you are about to deliver so this stuff will help you because i was really uh, looking for uh, some information uh, regarding babies and delivery and labor day i had zero clue because uh, in the usa and in ukraine it's completely different like literally everything is completely different so that's why i decided to share it with you first of all what you have to understand that if you're coming to deliver a baby to the hospital after 6 p.m. you don't go through the main door you go through emergency entrance I was like what so because they're gonna be closed after 8 p.m. so that's why they tell you that you have to go through the emergency and then they will take you to labor room here you can bring two people with you it can be your partner your husband or some other relative and plus one more person and if you want to bring doula then this doula is supposed to have a certificate she's supposed to have a license as they said but i'm coming without a doula and i don't think that i need that most probably i'll go there with my close friend <laughs> i hope she will be able to make it if uh, i'm gonna be delivering during the night she will go with me and during the evening but if it's gonna be during the day we'll see so if she will be busy she will have a court she's a lawyer <laughs> so my husband will cover her but it will be very funny if two of them will have courts then it will be a very good question what i'm gonna do <laughs> but she told me she's like listen if your water breaks then you call an ambulance but i asked my doctor and uh, i asked him doctor do i have to call an ambulance if uh, uh, my water breaks and he's like no you still can drive by yourself i was like are you sure because this is the first baby for me and i still don't know how everything gonna be <laughs> and i'm a little bit paranoid i'm a little bit scared and of course now i'm telling you that laughing and smiling but who knows what's gonna happen with me when i will be in labor and most probably i'll be panicking and uh, i will have lots of pain i become a kid if i have pain anywhere so that's why i'm just like god help me please <laughs> and i know that uh, many girls they want uh, their husbands to be there in the hospital i cannot say that i want my husband to be there yes so maybe uh, some kind of uh, support there it would be good but uh, i don't want him to see me going through all this pain and i don't want him to see blood because uh, we still plan to live together for the rest of our lives and uh, i don't want uh, him to see a blood and then just uh, have this impression all the time when he will be hugging me and kissing me i know that some women they don't support this idea because uh, they say yes we were planning the baby together so we have to go there together but uh, i am more like uh, into oriental <laughs> style i know that women they ask their husbands to stay in the house and wait until they get back with the baby but of course max will come back and he will take me from the hospital you know what surprised me a lot that uh, when you are there already in a labor room you are connected to wireless fetal health measuring system so you can walk freely and they can see a baby's heart rate and heartbeat and everything i was like whoa <laughs> that's really awesome because uh, as i thought that uh, they would connect me to all these uh, wires and all these monitors so they will be monitoring everything and i won't be able to move but thank god i will be able to move the baby will be bathed uh, only 
12 hours after delivering and that lady explained why because uh, if you do that earlier so the baby can get cold and then they have to put uh, the baby in some kind of machine uh, it's called warmer <laughs> so most probably they will be warming the baby somehow i don't know but uh, it's obvious right uh, because our body temperature is let's say 36.6 and when the baby is coming out and uh, comes to this world so here we have like now i have the temperature 24 degrees i'm talking about celsius so it's so obvious if the baby gets cold they have to put him or her in a warmer skin to skin i didn't know that skin to skin is so important it's just the baby is delivered why because of heart beat and when i started to read about that and uh, it's a science so she said that we're gonna place the baby on your chest and the baby has to face one of the sides either this side or that side but the baby cannot face your skin so she said we will put it in the correct position in order your heartbeat would match baby's heartbeat i was like wow that's cool that's so crazy <laughs> they're gonna put some kind of ointment for the baby's eyes uh, in order the baby would not have uh, an infection and also she said about uh, vitamin k injection and uh, she said that they gonna do hepatitis uh, injection through the heel i was like whoa <laughs> i didn't know that they're gonna do it through the heel but she said yes so we're gonna do it through the heel circumcision if you want to do a circumcision none of the doctors will do a circumcision if you don't do vitamin k injection why do you need vitamin k injection so vitamin k injection you need in order the baby would not have blood clotting i was like that's pretty interesting i didn't know that uh, babies can have blood clotting but i know that some women reject to do that uh, injection vitamin k i you know i'm not a doctor to say i don't want this injection or that injection if the doctor thinks that we have to do this injection we will do it and i asked uh, max i was like are we gonna do this uh, virus and uh, different viruses injections and he was like yeah of course we're gonna do it we're not crazy if the baby gets in uh, an icu so then you will be able to come there anytime whenever you want and you can check your baby and uh, you have to wear a mask and she said that the baby mainly go to an icu only if the baby is delivered uh, before 35th week of pregnancy i thought that okay i'm already on the 36th week of my pregnancy and uh, i hope everything will be okay so today yes i'm 36 weeks pregnant the entire floor will be locked so she said if you're gonna have some visitors they have to ring the door and we will uh, send them in i was like okay this is martin and max said of course it's so obvious because they don't want uh, the babies to be stolen i was wondering how fast they discharge women after delivery and that lady said that if you had vaginal delivery then we will discharge you within one or two days but if you had c-section then we will discharge you within two or three days i was like okay it makes sense just because uh, c-section it's surgery also she said that uh, you can order food if you want to eat something you can order from the local canteen or you can just uh, order from any restaurant and somebody will go down and collect your food i was like okay so i'm not gonna stay hungry <laughs> because i was worried uh, about that but also she said if you bring the food from home then we can store your food in our fridge we're gonna put a sticker when you brought this food the date and who is the patient and also she said we can keep that food for two days no more than that that's it it was short information for those who are planning to deliver babies in the usa i hope you will stay healthy and everything gonna be fine with you and with me <laughs>
gosh, I'm so paranoid and I'm so scared, but I just hope that God will help me there. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to give me some likes, and if you have some questions, you can write them down in the comment section below. And I hope that I will be able to film when I will be delivering, not the process of delivering, of course, but I'm really curious how the hospitals uh, look like here and uh, how everything will be. So I'll try to film, but we'll see if I'm gonna be in severe pain. Sorry, no videos, <laughs> then.